Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Daniela and this is teen yoga video number four. So I'm happy to have you. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm already seated, so if you have a mat or a towel, go ahead and grab that. You can take your shoes and your socks off and just sit comfortably, any position. And let's go ahead by starting to relax. So I just let a nice exhale out through the nose. I let the shoulders fall. I get a little more comfortable. We can move the head side to side or the shoulders a little bit or you can swing those arms or even shake out the hands whatever you need to do just to unwind the first few minutes we stay here we get comfortable we do a few stretches to warm up the body and we'll do some deep breathing and then we'll stand up and start with the practice so go ahead and just close your eyes when you're ready Slow the breathing. I want you to think about breathing in and out through the nose and try to keep those breaths um, equal. So what I mean is take the same amount of inhale as you exhale, so the same amount of time. In yoga, you wanna keep everything balanced. That's why, of course, we do one thing on one side and the other thing on the other side. The breath is the same, keeping the inhale and the exhale equal with one another. So just slow the breath down. Think about your posture. Think about sitting tall with the crown of the head lifted to the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears. And notice if there's any tension, tightness, if there's any stress through the mind. Let all that negative energy go. We don't want any of that negative energy, so let it out. Start to bring positive energy in through the breath and let that positive energy move around the body as you breathe. So as the energy hits the belly and goes all around, it's moving, slowing everything down, calming the body, and also calming the mind, letting go of any noises or distractions. And together, let's inhale, long breath in, you want to try to get the breath all the way down to the belly. Notice it expands out. And then exhale, contract it in. Notice the stomach contracting in, the rib cage dropping down. Inhale again through the nose. Everything else is nice and still. And exhale again through the nose. Inhale, listen to the breath. And you can really hear it as you exhale. So when you exhale, exhale, see if you can hear it at the back of the throat. Breathe in and again. Exhale. We're going to do it one more time together. So as you finish that exhale, go ahead and take one more deep breath all the way in. Think about your posture, sitting a little bit taller. And this time as you exhale, lower the chin into the chest. Now we don't need to move anything else other than the head falling down. And then circle the head a few times in one direction. Now either direction because we'll both we'll go both ways. So nice and slow, large movements. All the way around. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the center. When the chin gets there, let's go the other direction. Big circles. Enjoy the stretch. Breathe through the nose. Keep going around. We're gonna do one more full circle all the way around. And when you get to the center, go ahead and hold it there again. Really push that chin all the way into the chest. As you bring your head back to center, bring the arms up. Inhale and reach 
to the ceiling, nice and tall, growing with every stretch, up and up. One more time, each side. Perfect, we're gonna give ourselves a bit of a spinal twist, opposite hand to knee, look back behind you. Now, you don't want the hand too far back, I don't want you to slouch or lounge back too much. Go to the other side, big twist, big turn. Let's warm up the back slightly more and then we'll start to come up. So as you come to the center, walk your hands out, start to lower the hands down to the floor. You can make a pillow with the hands and with the exhale, let that head fall all the way down. We're gonna keep the legs crossed. We're gonna walk our hands to the right side dropping your head down towards that right knee. Now, make sure the left side is still seated on the mat. You don't wanna to lean to the right side and come off the left side. Try to stay in the center. Slowly walk your hands to your left knee. And again, stay seated. Try not to come off that right side. Let the head, the nose, the forehead fall towards the knee. Perfect, bringing it back to center. You can just come up. All right, we're gonna come up to standing postures. We're gonna do some vinyasas to warm up the body even more, get you really moving, then we'll do this poses. So let's come up. I'm gonna go lengthwise on my mat so I have the whole mat behind me. I'm going to stand at the top of the mat. We're going to bring our arms up to the ceiling, inhaling. Exhaling, hands come down to the floor. Step one foot and then the other foot back. Lower down to chaturanga, it's like a push up. And then inhale to upward dog. Now roll the toes, go into your downward dog. Those feet are all the way back already. So you should be pretty much in that perfect downward dog position. Step one foot and then the other foot to the front, fold in half. Bring the arms up to ceiling, inhale. Exhale, hands, heart center. This time we're gonna go down, up and back. So switching it just a little bit. Open those arms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feet back. Now if you can't come down like a push-up, drop your knees and then bend the elbows. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, downward dog. Step to the front and stand up. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale. Let's do it again, two more times. Follow those fingertips all the way back. Open the arms, fold in half. And inhale, lengthen, then on the exhale, chaturanga, either dropping the knees down or like a push-up. Roll it on back. This should be nice and fluid, stepping forward. Just follow your breath, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, hands, heart center, one more time. Inhale. Exhale, falling down. Inhale, lengthen, stepping your feet back. Exhale, lower. On the inhale, hold this upward dog. So our hands are flat. Now tilt to your left. Look over that right shoulder. Look all the way back towards your heels. Perfect, tilt to your right. Look over that left shoulder. And back to center, curl the toes under, downward dog. And just take a moment to reposition. I walked my hands in slightly closer. Or you can scooch those feet back, whatever you need to do. The head is between the arms. You should notice your arms and your legs are completely straight here. Now, you don't want those shoulders scrunch to the ears. Open up the upper back to so kind of open those shoulder blades. Take the left foot all the way to the front. Keep your right hand down. Lift the left arm and look up to the hand. Hold it here. Breathe through the nose. We're gonna come up to warrior pose. So the legs, they're in position. You just drop the back foot as you come up. Turn the body, arms go out. Inhaling and exhaling. You should be looking over that left arm. That's left knee is also bent. So the left knee is bent, the arms are straight. 
We're gonna go into triangle from here. Straighten that left leg. Reach the arms forward, bring the left hand down. And that right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling slowly through the nose. Hold it again. We're gonna go back into warrior with the bent knee. So come up slowly, bend that left knee, hold it. So notice your arms are nice and strong. They're not up to the ears. Shoulders are down, but there's strength and power here. We're going to reverse warrior. So the right hand goes to the right leg, reach up and back, inhale. Now take that left elbow to the left knee, bring the right arm overhead. And just lunge down slightly more if you can. So it's lots of strength, lots of power here. Hold it still. We're gonna do the other side momentarily. Notice my right arm nice and straight. Reverse warrior, don't straighten the leg this time. And now we're gonna swan dive down, switching legs. Left leg goes back, downward dog, right foot. Come to the front. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling. This time we look to that right hand. The leg, that front leg is gonna stay there. As we go into warrior, I'm gonna be facing the back of the room. So my back will be to you. Drop the back foot, come all the way up, inhale. And on the exhale, just take an adjustment to get lower. So you stay where you are. Notice my leg, back leg is straight. Front knee is bent, 90 degrees. Straighten that front leg, reach out for triangle. So it's good, you can see how it looks from behind. See different angles of the same poses. Legs are straight, arms are straight as well here in triangle. Keep that right arm or left arm lifted. Now the left hip should also be lifted and rolling back. Come up, inhale, take it to warrior, exhale. We're gonna do reverse warrior. So left arm, left leg, inhale up and back. Same elbow, same knee, left arm going overhead. Nice long line from your fingertips all the way to the outside of the foot. Breathe here. We're gonna do reverse warrior one more time, then we're gonna go to downward dog. So, reach the arm, right arm up and back on the inhale. On the exhale, place your hands onto the floor. Bring both feet back to a downward dog. We're gonna open the hips up. We're gonna take the right foot slightly more centered. Extend the left leg up to the ceiling and then bend the knee, kind of open that hip, let the left foot drop to the floor, towards the floor for now. Hold it. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left foot on the mat, right leg up. Bend that knee, let the foot drop towards the floor. If you wanna look under the right arm, go ahead and do so. Perfect, and from here, both feet back to a downward dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Hold it there, I'm gonna come a little more center. You don't have to move. Look forward, inhale. Now, on the exhale, take the outside of the ankles, pull that head in towards the legs. Give yourself a good stretch here. Fold it in half, hold it still. One more breath. Push those knees away from the face, if you can. Or if not, you can keep a slight bend in the knees, whatever you need to do. Place your hands in front of you, fingertips on the floor. Notice my heels coming off of the mat. I'm bending the knees, I'm squatting down. And I'm going to pull those hands closer to the feet. Some of you stay here, maybe a little more weight in the fingertips. Or if you can balance, hands gently placed together. Hold that balance, find a fixed point. Breathe into that spot. Relax the facial muscles. 
One more breath. Perfect, hands back onto the floor, straighten those legs. We're gonna come up by reaching the arms overhead. So bring those arms out, bring them all the way up to the ceiling, maybe a slight backward bend. And return to the center, hands in front of you, heart center, take a moment. We're gonna open those legs far apart. So, feet, toes face forward, the hips tuck under, those legs are way out. We reach the arms up, and we're gonna bring the left hand across towards that right foot, and then give yourself a big twist. If it's a bit far, keep the left hand in the center, look straight up. So the further you go towards that right foot, you're gonna feel it more. If you can't go all the way to the foot, hold in the center. Both arms up, inhale, and right arm, left leg. Again, if you need to keep the hand a little more center, that's fine. Keep looking up, hold it here. Open that left arm. And instead of coming up, drop both hands to the floor, walk them to the center. Now we're gonna walk the hands through the legs, letting the head follow. So just walk those hands a bit through the legs. Your palms can be down, or if you want, you can just flip your hands, palms up, and head falls. Keep on holding. If you can't reach the floor, you can always use a book to give you a little more of a lift. Do what you need, modify any time during your practice. All right, bring those arms out. We're going to walk the hands to the left, and as we walk the hands to the left, the toes and the feet are gonna pivot. You're gonna bring your feet back into your downward dog one more time. You're gonna pull the belly, the navel in towards the spine. Really push your head through the arms. Weight going into the legs, hold it here last time. Take a long, slow breath. Keep your hands flat, fingers separated. Shift your weight to your toes, going onto your knees. Pick up your feet soft, softly. Drop them back down. And you're in tabletop position. Now, my hands are usually a little more extended out than I want them to be. I just walk them in an inch or two closer. I take a few moments to shift my weight evenly between all hands and knees. We're gonna go to cat-cow, give the spine a little bit of love, and then we're gonna do some balance here. So inhale first, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, round the spine. Now go into that mad, mad cat. Reverse, inhale, looking up. Let's go back into the cat pose. Round the spine, drop the head down. Two more times, inhale, look up. And exhale. One more time, look all the way up to the ceiling. And from here, exhale, cat pose, flatten the back, and we're going to start with a little bit of balance. We're going to extend the right leg all the way back, bringing the left arm straight in front of you, so it's the opposite arm and leg. One nice long line, toes are pointed in that right foot. Hold it here. We're gonna do this side, then we're gonna do the other, then we're gonna build on it. Take that right knee down, left hand down, switch, left leg all the way back, bring that right arm to the front. Now, your core is working here because it's balanced. So, core is strong, breath is nice and fluid. All right, so let's go a step further. So, back to the center. Going back with the right leg back, left arm forward, bend the right knee, grab the foot and either pull that heel all the way down or lift that foot up 
and with it, the chest lifts up also. Hold it. So now you know what you're gonna do on the other side. Bring it to the center. Shift your weight evenly. Let's do it one more time. Left leg back, right arm forward. Start to bend that left knee. Grab the foot. Hold the foot and then lift all the way up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. One more breath. Excellent. Drop it all back down. Take your right arm, weave it underneath the left, underneath the left arm. Drop that left arm, elbow down to the floor. Couple options here. You can stay right where you are, or you can bring the left arm all the way back behind you. Try to lock those fingers into that right thigh. And some of you want an extra balance. So you're gonna balance on the right side, extending the left leg up. So my leg is straight. Now if this is really a little bit too hard, but you do wanna play with balance, you can also place the left hand on the floor to help you. But if you can do it here, hold it. Return to center. Left hand on the floor, right hand on the floor. Now, let's see the other side. Hopefully you have the same balance. Left arm weaves underneath the right arm. Right arm just falls here, just for a moment. Even if you're gonna go into the balance, relax here. If you're gonna stay here, that's fine, enjoy this. For some of you, bring the right arm up, bend the elbow, try to find the left thigh, lock your fingers into it. Now you're gonna balance pretty much on that left shoulder, left knee, and extend that right leg all the way up and out. Hold it. Other option like I talked about before, if you want a little bit of help, place the right hand on the floor. If not, keep it all the way back. Lift, lift, lift that leg. You have it? Perfect, bring it to the center. Come up just slightly. Knees together, feet together. Sit at your feet, sit at your heels. Child's pose, your head goes down. The arms go alongside you with the palm to the ceiling. And you exhale, relax. Just close the eyes for a moment. Let it all slow down. Clear the mind. Let the breathing be a little bit softer. Another breath. Stay at your heels. Pull yourself up slowly. Head stays down. And then the chin comes up last. Opening the chest. Few more stretches here. You're going to stay here. We're gonna to tilt to the left side. I'm going to extend that right leg straight up. And then I'm going to readjust how I was seated, taking the left foot to the outside of the thigh. Some of you maybe just lean back right here. Some of you want to go to your elbows. Carefully listen to the body, especially that left quad. I know some of you can go all the way down, falling, letting the knee stay at the floor just try to relax here with it. Slow the breath, nice deep breaths. Relax the lower back. If this is uncomfortable, remember you can stay up and hold it here or even higher. One more breath wherever you are. We're going to slowly make it all the way up. We're going to give that left leg a quick little cradle. Pull it in, sit up tall, rock the knee back and forth. We're gonna do the other side, of course. So, carefully bring that left leg out. Pull that right foot back. Kind of readjust so you're in the middle. And then go down slowly. Again, here is fine. Or to your elbows. Or you can lie all the way down. Listen to the body. Know your limit. 
try to unwind and just soften the back. Take some good long breaths. Hold it still. Now, if you have any knee problems, do forward bends instead and keeping the legs straight. You don't have to bend the knee like this. It's a bit um, deep pose, deep for the knee and the quad. Slowly take it up and cradle that right leg in. So you wanna pull that leg in, give it a gentle little rock side to side. We're gonna finish up with final relaxation. So we're gonna lie back down. Come to the mat so you have room behind you, arms out. I like to engage the abs by bringing it down slowly. And then take the legs out and the arms overhead. Stretch and reach, inhale. And exhale, relax that breath. Allow the arms go down alongside you. Get comfortable. Let the feet fall out to the side. The fingers maybe just curl gently. Chin stays in the middle, eyes close softly. And we slow it all down. So all the way to the body, let it fall down into the floor. Feel that energy rising up, feeling light and free and relaxed. Keep that positive energy moving through the body. Let it, any distractions, any noises, stress, let them all go. Enjoy this peace. Lying still, feeling soft and weightless. And as you lie here, start to move those fingers and the toes. And another long breath as you reach in opposite direction. And on the exhale, bend the knees, pull them into the chest. A little rock side to side. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Just get the body moving once again. We're going to cross the ankles and going to rock it up. Come back to that seated position where you were before, sitting nice and tall. Notice that posture is taller. It's easier to sit here. Bring the arms all the way up before we finish. Drop the left hand, left elbow, reaching that right arm across. Perfect, let's do it one more time on the other side. Drop the right hand, right elbow. Reach that left arm across, hold it here. And return to the center, hands to heart position. Thank you everybody, namaste. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you real soon. Bye.